Boris Johnson just gave a clear signal he plans to ditch UK food standards to secure a Trump trade deal. Here's a summary of the article. The United Kingdom gave its clearest sign yet that it plans to ditch its commitment to maintaining European Union food standards in order to secure a post-Brexit trade deal with President Donald Trump. UK officials are set to break away from strict EU rules on sanitary and phytosanitary measures covering food and agricultural goods at an upcoming World Trade Organization meeting, City AM reported on Thursday. At the WTO meeting, Prime Minister Boris Johnson's government will make a clear statement about future intentions for how the UK will approach food standards in trade deals with the US and other countries, City AM said. The National Farmers Union's Brexit director recently told Business Insider that the industry feared the government would ultimately trade away UK food standards in talks with fearsome US negotiators. While Johnson has said the UK will not lower its food standards after leaving the EU, he has also said his government's policy will be dictated by science and not by mumbo-jumbo. The UK is set to begin negotiating a trade deal with the US in the next few weeks. The U.S. Trade Representative's Objectives for Negotiations, published last year, said the U.K. should remove expeditiously unwarranted barriers that block the export of U.S. food and agricultural products. This post received a score of 12,665, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Fucking bastard. He promised us no chlorinated chicken when he was trying to get elected. What a surprise he's gone back on that. People campaigned for years to improve animal welfare standards in this country. It's all going to be reversed. We'll have to go back to secretly filming inside U.S. farms and factories, so people are so disgusted they won't buy the product. This means we won't be able to sell any meat to the EU. Instead, we're going to ship it all across the Atlantic. It doesn't make any sense. Greater than instead, we're going to ship it all across the Atlantic. You misunderstood that. They are going to ship theirs to you. You won't be able to sell anything. Nobody here in Europe needs any goods from the UK, so they better pray Trump plays nice. Here in America we have factory farming down to a science, and relatively low standards. We won't be buying anything from them, it's the UK that's going to get royally fucked here and have to buy our crap. And it begins. I predict a rise in R. Ah, Leopards ate my face content. That guy is dead serious, by the way. I have been led to believe that Brits enjoy queuing. Perhaps he means it in a positive way? Yeah, absolutely disgusting. Leaves a lot of room for interpretation. You never know with kids these days. Bad means good and whatnot. Next up on the carving block, NHS. Enjoy your brave new world and US style dilemmas like Do I sell my house to pay for a hospital stay? Oh wait, I don't own a house. How ironic would it be if Bernie got elected and gave the US Medicare for all just in time for England to ditch their healthcare for a formerly American now English industry? Would be a great way to save jobs in the American insurance industry. Keep them in business selling insurance to Brits. For the low, low cost of £300 per month, you too could spend your life savings trying to get over an easily preventable disease. £300, buddy you'd better double that number, and that's before your deductibles, co-pays, out-of-network fees, and anything else they arbitrarily decide not to cover. It's so cute when non-Americans throw out a number they think is outrageous for healthcare. Only to find out that to Americans that outrageous number is a goddamn bargain they've never even dreamed of before. Great video. He just caved on food, he will defund and sell off the NHS, he will give max priority to free ports where his friends can pay the least amount of taxes and he will approve all sorts of ludicrous publicly funded projects that no one wants like a goddamn bridge between Scotland and Northern Ireland. Do enjoy the bed that the majority of you made, it's going to be a while before you even get a chance to change. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.